So let's talk about what makes a game improvement iron really work. And in front of us here we have the King F7 and then also a couple of King F7-1 iron constructions. And we'll start with the simplest, which is the specialty wedges. And you can see it looks a lot like a forged blade. So it's a relatively thick blade. There's a lot of mass down low. I mean, this thing is designed to give you a bunch of spin because you're going to use a loft, right? It's going to feel good, great control. It's a pretty simple construction. But then as you move up and you need a little bit of forgiveness, you start to get into a cavity back sort of construction. So in the shorter irons, like in this case we've got a 9 iron, you can see this has got a cavity back construction, which means we're going to give you a little bit more unsupported face, which gives you a little more ball speed. Not as important with the 9 iron, but we're still giving you some. And then you're getting a cavity back which drives the mass back, drives the mass down, gives you higher launch, it's more forgiving. There's your typical game improvement cavity back sort of iron. You move up into the middle irons, in this case it's a 7 iron, and you can see the construction gets a little more exotic. We call this the half hollow. Again, we're trying to drive mass down, low, back, which gives you higher launch conditions, gives you more forgiveness. You've got the rest of the cavity back on the upper surface. You've got a relatively thin face. Um, again, great feel, very forgiving. Okay? But now you move into what might be the trouble iron for a lot of people, the longer iron, in this case the 5 iron. Now you've got a full hollow. Now why do you do this? Well, if you look at this, it's starting to look an awful lot like a hybrid where you've got a lot of mass down low, a relatively thin unsupported face, and then a back structure that caps that off, which makes the entire structure a little bit stiffer, improves the feel. So you literally are taking hybrid-like properties into a long iron. And for your average golfer, it just makes it a lot easier to hit. Low CG, high MOI, very forgiving. That's why the long irons in these F7s work really, really well. Let's just zip right over to the F7-1. To make this set work, you've got to take weight out of the short irons and add weight to the long irons so that you've got same swing weight, same total weight. Well, seems simple, but this takes a lot of work. We had to take mass out, and you can clearly see we've hollowed up the sole area in the specialty wedges. And then in the longer irons, it's subtle, but if you squint, you can see it. We've added some mass right there. So now you've got even lower CG, even higher MOI, a heck of a lot more forgiving, even in what was the traditional or the original construction of the long irons of the F7. It makes it even better in the F1 because of the lower CG, higher MOI, a little bit more forgiving, up in the air easier. So there you have it. That's the full construction, and you can see just how important putting a full hollow body is in the long irons.